So I was just watching James Rolfe's review of Breaking Bad. And it's interesting. Because he waited a really long time to review the show. The show has been off the air for some time. And even the spin-off, Better Call Saul, is in its third or fourth season. So I anticipated that he was going to deliver a review that was extremely well thought out and that he had taken a long time to kind of um, let the show's hype die down. And it very much has, as far as I knew. Like, I hadn't really heard about Breaking Bad in a while, thank God. I hadn't really had anybody shoving the show down my throat in a while. And it's, uh, it's funny because I will freely admit I don't like or enjoy Breaking Bad. And I don't say that to gaslight its fan base even though they're very easy to gaslight. And that's kind of my problem with the show. It's more that I don't like the fan base more than I don't like the show. The fan base is very pushy. They're really obnoxious about how if you don't like what I like, you're an idiot. That if you don't like the show, you have bad taste. You know, and James Rolfie is talking about how it's the second greatest show after The Twilight Zone. So obviously we're on James's personal scale, right? <laughs> And I'm like, oh, sure. So no mention of Vince Gilligan's own X-Files that he worked on before Breaking Bad? No? That's not even in the top five? Like, everything just pales in comparison to the sun god Breaking Bad? And it's like, so I watched the whole first season, and it was a slog. And it's funny how people like James seem to get to the end, and they go, I was hooked. I was hooked. And I reached that same end of the first season where I'm like, how many more fucking seasons of this do I have to go? Where I have to watch this guy in his tidy whities enable himself as a psychopath? And watch everyone around him enable him. And then watch the fan base enable him. So, like I said, um, I find Walter White to be a very disgusting protagonist. I, I don't find anything mitigating about his character at all. And I wonder why people are so into him and his story. And my charge was that you are like him. Or that you want to be like him. And I think a lot of Breaking Bad's fan base is just fascinated with meth culture and that they're too afraid of getting arrested to actually engage with meth, so that they are, like, kind of watching from the outside, like, ooh, meth culture is so cool. And I'm like, what's cool about it? It's like this fucking 50-year-old shithead in his trailer and his skivvies, and the show is actually really dishonest about how disfigured he would have been from all the explosions. And I was thinking that for my criminology training. I'm like, dude, this guy would look like a fucking uh, catcher's mitt or a beanbag. You know, like, he... <laughs> He would have been involved in so many unintentional fires that Brian Cranston looks pretty fucking good by the end of the show for cooking meth his whole life or whatever, half his life. And um, I'm the kind of person where it's like, does he have to take it out on the rest of society just because he got cancer? And it, it seems like the fan base absolutely agrees with that. That they're like, yeah, if I got cancer, I would just poison society with heroin or meth or something and take out as many people with me as I could because I'm a vindictive, selfish asshole and well, you know, I, I got dealt a bad hand, so now I'm going to fuck up everyone else's hand. I'm going to pull everyone else's cards out of their hand. Ha ha ha. And I don't want to live that way, and I don't like propaganda about living that way. And that's what Breaking Bad is. You know, it's a celebration of evil and, and a celebration of psychopathy. And the people who are into it, they would be Walter White if they weren't so afraid of the real world consequences. Because otherwise it's boring, it, it, it's, it's, it's turgid, it, it's, it's depressing, it's bleak, it's joyless, it's stagnant, where it, it barely moves, it moves at this glacier pace, and it feels like a movie. When people say that TV shows feel like movies now, this one really feels like a movie to me, where it feels like one movie that's been stretched out for 50 fucking hours. It feels like you took a good movie like Heat or Goodfellas and you stretched it out for 40 fucking hours. And that's the story of Walter White. And you're just kind of like... Yeah, I am anyway. And I'm just making this video for the two or three other people on the planet who agree with me. I know that everyone else loves the fucking show. I know that this if anyone watches this at all, it's going to be like one like and 50 dislikes or whatever. And that's fine. This is for those two people that are sick of this fucking Kool-Aid and they're just sick of people trying to look and sound smart by liking the show and they just want to be part of this Jim Jones-style cult of people who like it. 
And I don't need that. You know, I don't need that kind of validation. You know, it was nice to get that little comic from Bill Watterson. You know what I mean? But I don't have to be part of the Breaking Bad cult to feel special or to feel smart or to feel like I have good taste. And James is ridiculous for claiming that shows like The X-Files just pale in comparison to this overrated dreck. And this celebration of evil and psychopathy and revenge. And so I put that to the fan base. You know, why is Walter White so cool? Why is he so great? The guy got cancer and he decides to take it out on everyone else. He decides to take it out on society. What the fuck is so great about that? Why watch a show for seven or eight seasons that celebrates a man like that? And that celebrates his motivations and his ethos. And oh yeah, and it just digs deeper and deeper into why he's such an asshole. Who cares? Who cares about why Walter White is such a psychopath asshole fuckface? Why do you need to watch eight seasons of like, and, he, and he's never redeemed. You know what I mean? Like I, I, when I found out that I was, I was already like two or three seasons in and that he's going to get worse. Like when I had the finale validated for me, or, or what is it called? Not validated, um, spoiled for me. And I'm like, okay, so you're going to watch eight seasons of this and he's not even going to be redeemed. He doesn't even have an arc. It's just kind of a downward spiral. Fuck that. I got better things to do. I don't need to feel like shit.